Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to test the speed of your Windows 10 machine. Now the first thing that you can do is right click on your start button and go to control panel Okay, and under you have small icons checked off here in the upper right hand corner you can go to system and you can see what your processor is in this case we have an i7 3.4 gigahertz 3 gigabyte of ram so that gives you kind of a baseline but uh, for example this is a virtual machine so it's actually sharing the processor with the, the uh, host computer so we're going to see how that affects the speed uh, in terms of a benchmark. Okay. So now on the host machine without the virtual machine running uh, it's about the the benchmark number that I have is about 1194 something around there and we can get those benchmark numbers from novabench.com We'll go to that website and click on the download now button First, we're going to download for Windows. This is Firefox, so we get this here. Click on Save File. And in Firefox, your downloads go to the upper right-hand corner. If you click on that, you see your progress. It's already downloaded. So we can go ahead and click on that file to open it. And we do want to allow this app to make changes. Hi and in this case it wants to install .NET 2.0 so we're going to push through with that so we save that file and we'll run that so here we go download and install this feature So the .NET 3.5, notice there, the 2.0 is included with that install. So already you can see this isn't acting like a full i7. It's not very fast, comparatively. Okay, so that installed, I did pause the video a bit, um, still seems long to watch here, but it's even longer to experience. Now we can close that. I'll say this program installed correctly. And let's go ahead and we'll run the Nova Bench again. Now that the requirements are in. I accept the agreement. Next, 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 install. We can close Firefox there. And with our Nova Bench installed, we can leave the launch Nova Bench checked off. Click on finish. And here's the software that will give you your benchmark. All right. So in my experience, you know, a computer that scores 300 something is very entry level. You're going to find it slow for most things, everything really. Uh, 600 around there, uh, decent mid level computer these days. A lot of computers that are being purchased at this time score around that much. A uh, a nice souped up computer, um, you know, not total high end, but above the midline would be, you know, something like over a thousand, eleven hundred, twelve hundred. And there are um, benchmarks that 
go twice that high, but you're going to spend a lot of money on that kind of a machine. So let's go ahead and click on Start Benchmark Tests. It warns you that uh, you know other programs should be closed for best results. Click OK, and it'll start the tests. So here we got our floating point operation CPU test, our integer operations CPU test, MD5 hashing speed, RAM transfer speed. You'll get uh, scores for uh, you know common components. It'll break it down for you a bit at the end. This is a 3D test. The computer generated island there in the water, the sun rising and setting over top of it. Now it's testing the hard drive, HDD hard disk drive. Okay, so here we go. Uh, the score is 438. So as I said, this is a virtual machine running on a machine that actually scores pretty close to 1200. So you can see how. Uh, you know, performance is affected when uh, you're running as a virtual machine. I'm sure if I ran this on the main machine, uh, I'd get a lower score as well because the virtual machine is running. But uh, this does give me an idea of the kind of performance I can expect from the virtual machine. And of course, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a virtual machine or not. Uh, if you have a standalone machine, and your whatever score you get gives you an idea of uh, how you compare to other systems and this is a great way to determine for example if you've got a couple of computers in the office or your home um, you know which one you want to give the more intensive tasks to right this, you know one machine might score 600 the other other might score 850 or 1200 right so then you'll know uh, which one is the powerhouse and uh, you know for example which one to install Photoshop or uh, you know Adobe Premiere or whatever you know for photos or video, uh, give that software to the machine with more power. All right. Hopefully this has helped you determine how fast your machine is compared to others. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.